everyone, it's Carol <clears throat> in my art dining room today. And I'd like to show you how to do a sandwich pour. I did one, I did a funnel pour that resembled a sandwich pour a while ago and it was a lot of white. So it's basically white paint on both sides of colored paint. So you put white paint in the bottom, colored in the middle, and then white on the top, like a sandwich. The white is the, is the bread. So I got three little cups here. This is eight by 10. And I'm just gonna use up some of my paints I already have mixed. So, and then um, don't believe there's any silicone in any of these paints, but I could be wrong in the bronze. This is um, Burnt Sienna, I believe it's uh, Liquitex Burnt Sienna. And then I have Artist Loft Turquoise, Cobalt Blue Artist Loft, and some Phalo green mixed with some pearl white deco art. Metallic. These are both metallic. I just wanted to lighten it up a bit. It's a pretty color now. So we'll see how this goes. My paints are mixed 50 50 with Floetrol. I'm going to pause for a minute. Okay, I'm back. All right. All right, so I've got my paint. I'm gonna put some lots of white in the bottom. I don't really think I need a lot for this canvas, but I think an eight by 10, it's 80, 80 square inches. I've used um, probably about five ounces of paint for an eight by 10, similar to that. So these cups are probably two or three ounces. So two, four, if I do two ounces in each, that should be plenty. So I'm making up three cups. Before I forget, I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos and subscribing. I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers. I'm so excited, so thankful. And if you're new here, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when I do more. If you, and then like if you like it, a thumbs up. And then if you scroll way down, you can comment on my videos. And uh, that's about it. I just wanted to give you that little bit of information. All right, so let's carry on to the sandwich pour. So I think I'll put some uh, turquoise in the, in the next. And I'm just going to layer them. I'm not going to try and... I'm not gonna try and bury the colors in the white. It'll get it'll get mixed up when they go upside down. So just squirt it on the top. You don't have to squirt it hard or it'll go in. <clears throat> I'll do some of this, bring this closer to me. I saw Julie Cuts do one recently. It was very, very awesome. 
like beachy colors. And I've seen waterfall, waterfall acrylics do one also. So now Carol's Art Room's going to do one. Let's try this cobalt blue now. Now wait a minute, maybe I'll do this pretty green first. All right, now the blue. Cobalt blue is a really pretty blue. I think that's probably it. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of this burnt sienna on this blue. And I, that's probably good. Bit of turquoise. Gotta love the turquoise. Okay, so now my white again. There's my fancy clock again. You could do this as a funnel pour also. It would come out awesome. I did one as a funnel pour. It really looked good. It looked like curtains with pretty colors going through them. I gotta get lots of white in here. I don't want to skimp too much on the white. That's part of the Part of the process. All right, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up. Just do it like a flip cup. It for a minute so it soaks down. I'm going to put a squirt here. took my finger and put some um, silicone on my finger, just a dab, and I rubbed my finger in the cup, so I don't know if this will help get the paint out. We'll find out. All right, I'm gonna do it. Whoa. to come down more. <laughs> and 
and just take that little bit that's in there and rub it up. Whoa, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Time to sit. Oh, look inside that cup. All right, that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna just gently come down this way. back. I gotta get it to the side here. Oh, isn't that pretty? This part here to move away a bit so you angle it down and go over Awesome. Touch up my sides a bit. Okay, I'm going to take my torch to it. I don't know what the torch will do, but... I'll get my sides later. I hope I have enough fluid in here.
awesome. So I could have pushed this off more, but it's okay. I like it. I like it. Now imagine if you did this with a bit of silicone in it. Whew. I'll let this sit for a minute. Maybe more cells will pop through. Not much of the um, burnt sienna came out. It must be a heavy paint because it sank. But the white is supposed to sink. I didn't put enough in. There's some under there, I see. Some there. Well, wow, it's very pretty. I'm going to hold it up for you. That's awesome, awesome. I'm going to do this again. for watching and I'll put the dried results at the end look at those cells coming through there this might change a little bit more might pop through but that's okay it doesn't have to have a lot of cells next time I'll try um, some silicone in there Okay, thanks for dropping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi there, Carol here. Here's the dried results of the sandwich pour. Didn't change too much. Actually, I, oh no, I had it this way. There's one big cell right there. A couple of cool ones on the sides. I think when the paint rolls over, it creates cells. So the burnt sienna did not appear. It's a little bit there, but I also didn't put in very much. Anyway, it dried nice and smooth. I'm happy. Okay. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.